and we're back how's it going everyone welcome back to hawk sense i am your host alex nicolau and welcome to another visual episode i apologize that we haven't been doing visual episodes for what the past two weeks now like i said in my last um remastered video i've just been wrapping up a summer project and uh it's completed now so i'm very excited to be bringing you guys some more content so we're doing this another marvel spider-man related video we're doing this marvel's spider-man and marvel spider-man miles morales suit tier list now this has been a very popular thing that's been going on right now in the marvel spider-man community so i thought might as well hop on the bandwagon we have nothing else to talk about really so i mean really this this Hawksense has become a countdown to Spider-Man 2, and uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But uh, we haven't done a tier list since the Ben 10 Alien tier list, and that was a while ago. That was like when Hawksense wasn't all visual episodes, you know? So I'm very excited to be doing this, as you can see right here. I'm going to be looking this way. I know it's totally opposite for you, but I don't want to be covering the, uh, the tier list right here. So here we have all of these suits from Spider-Man one and spider-man miles morales um some pretty awesome suits that's a lot of suits guys and they might they're adding more and maybe introduce or not introducing maybe having every single suit that we see here in the next game as well oh i forgot to show you guys off my new some of my new stuff so obviously we just got the two pops you know in frame so you can see i got that my lovely girlfriend got that for me for our third anniversary uh that is an original bobblehead from spider-man 1 which is awesome and then you, we got the toby mask which you guys have seen before and i got that toby right there the, to uh, the toby uh action figure who's missing part of his foot if you can see it um but let's get back over here so i guess i mean let's get started obviously we have our s a b c d and f tier a lot of people are doing like hyphens with different you know what it means you know what s means you know what a means you know what b means you know what f means come on we, we know what we're doing here this is, we're not new to this so uh they don't have this in any particular order so i'm just gonna go from from wherever i didn't want to sort it to whichever was in the game and whatnot i mean that's stupid so um and it doesn't really matter so might as well start off with this is the advanced tech suit from spider-man miles morales this was a dlc suit for the game i don't mind it i think it's actually very nice it's a very um kind of like the mark where is it this is the mark four armor spider armor i think it looks kind of similar to that but for miles and i don't mind it i'm gonna give that one a c tier now this one is the cartoon or uh, animated uh, suit for miles morales this this comes from the ultimate spider-man series on disney xd it's a nice shell shaded sh cell shaded suit so uh, i think i'm gonna give it a b along with the bodega cat suit in b because that is a great suit as well actually the only thing that throw me throws me off about this is the texture of his suit and the eyes i'm not a huge fan of that but i love the hoodie i love the backpack with the cat in it i love the shoes everything looks great about it the visions academy Ooh. miles morales suit is fantastic i love this suit i'm giving that one an a i love miles morales suits with clothes on top of it because he, he he's more um late than peter parker is sometimes in the comics so that one's gonna have to give it an a the classic the classic miles morales suit i love this suit it is definitely an s tier suit it is so fantastic. They did a fantastic job making this suit into the Insomniac universe, adapting his suit from the comics into the Insomniac universe in a way where it's fresh and it still works. The Crimson Cowl suit is getting a C. <sighs> Too much red. This could have been awesome. It could have been like an Assassin's Creed type suit, but they're too much red. That's basically it. Now, this is the Great Responsibility suit. Now, this is the suit that um peter gifts miles um i'm gonna go b on that one because it, it's very reminiscent to the comics but also it's um it's, it's not a miles Mor eh, i'm gonna go c because it's, it's not it's not miles morales's look that's not how he looks so that's definitely getting a c now this is miles morales's homemade suit that he has in the comics i'm gonna give this one a c as well i think it's a pretty good homemade suit especially for miles morales now the end of the Spider-Verse suit. I don't play with it much. 
I can tell you that. Also, I prefer the other, the new Into the Spider or Cross the Spider Verse suit to the Into the Spider Verse suit. So I'm going to give it an A. I mean, it's a great suit. They had to have put it in there, but nah. the 2020 suit's also an A. I love the style of it, and um, it's really fresh and it fits the game properly. Uh, the 2099 Miles Morales suit is the best. Second, ooh, dude, I'm having some. Ooh, I'm going to have to give that one an A as well, right? I don't know if it's S tier. S tier is pretty wild. I'll say that. Um, whoo, uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it an A. This is the, um, what's it called? The programmable matter, matter suit. I'm giving this one a C. I do like the design of it. It's pretty unique. The purple rain suit. I'm also going to give a C. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, and it, it, I mean, it's not very Spider-Man, if you ask me. This is definitely getting a D. This is a D, E, A, C, uh, F. Let me tell you something about this suit. This is my favorite suit in Spider-Man Miles Morales. I love the design. The only th and the only thing I would change is the eyes. Because this is perfect. This this has some flaws. But this is definitely my favorite suit in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Hands down. Hands down. The track suit's also definitely an A. I love that suit. And the Uptown Pride suit, I'm going to give it a B. Because it just... A few tweaks on the classic suit. And I don't think it makes it look prettier. I just think, you know, um, it's a nice suit. The Bodega... Oh, not the Bodega Cat. What am I saying? The... Um, Winter suit is definitely getting an S. It's definitely one of my favorite suits in the game to play with, and uh, it fits Miles so well. Now we are moving on to every single one of Peter Parker's suit, down to the advanced, um, down to the armored, advanced, and the amazing suit, which was the uh, no, 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 down to the integrated suit, right for in black and gold suit. Yeah, yeah. Down to the black and gold and integrated suit from Spider-Man No Way Home, which is the end of the suits that we got in those two games. Uh, number one is the advanced suit. Yes. It's a fantastic suit. And even the new one that we get, the advanced suit 2.0 that people have been calling it, is so much better. But this one's still a great suit. It represents Yuri Lowenthal's Spider-Man so great. And it's, it's really made a staple for itself in the game when talking about the best type of Spider-Man suit. So you got to give it credit for that. The Amazing Spider-Man suit. Now, if we're just ranking this on an actual suit, I'm not going to rate it very high. Now, if we're ranking this on, right now, me in this game or whatever, we're going to give it a B because... I, I'm not too fond of it. I mean, I would have rather had the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit in the game, but, I mean, we settle for this. I mean, it's fine. Whoever, you, whoever likes it, you know who you are. Um, do you like it? That, so that's all that really pretty much matters. The Antioch suit is getting a D. It was cool at first, but then it just got like, can I just play as a regular Spider-Man suit in my game, please? Do I have to use the Antioch suit at the end? Like, come on. Uh, Rack Knight Rider is getting a D as well. It's a cool cell shaded design. I just don't like the design of it. The Armored Advanced Suit is getting a F. This is a terrible suit. A very terrible suit. The Bombastic Bagman, it was there for comedic purpose, so I'm going to give it a C. The Damaged and the Repaired Classic Suit, I mean, if you really want to put the Damaged together with the repaired i'm gonna give the classic an f and then we'll just how about we leave the damaged one and uh, I mean, i'll put damaged at a how about that but the classic is definitely an s it's a very awesome classic spider-man design and uh i'm i'm happy with it and i do play with this one often when i don't want to play with the advanced suit the dark suit this is the one that you get when you complete all of the black cat quests um i'm gonna definitely have to rate this one a b uh, I like the design of it. I love the red eyes, but the the, the sectioning's kind of off. The spider is all right. I see what they're doing with the Black Widow type, you know, design. But the sectioning's a little bit off. There's too many modernized lines and all that kind of stuff. So definitely giving a B. I don't want to talk about it. This suit's garbage. Who wanted this suit in the game? Terrible. Oh my god. 
Um, this one's alright for the purpose it, it does. I'm going to put it with the Miles one. The Fear Itself suit. Now, people were putting this one at F. It's a B, for sure. This is a great suit. It's made out of Asgardian material. Odin had to lock this in his vault because Spider-Man was too powerful with it. It's a cool design. I like the baby blue. I like the glow that it gives. Future Dot Foundation suit. Now, this design, personally, is pretty good. The eyes kind of throw me off, so I'm going to give it a A. Uh, the homemade homecoming suit. Um, definitely the best out of all of the homemade suits. I think we talked about that one before. Uh, I'm going to give that one a B. MCU Iron Spider, I'm going to give that one a C. The Last Stand suit, I'm going to give it a D. Why is Spider-Man swinging around in jeans and a leather jacket? Can you name a more terrible outfit for mobility as Spider-Man? A leather jacket and jeans and boots. How is he sticking to walls? The Negative Zone suit, I mean, C. I mean, I think that's a good balance in between everything. The Noir suit definitely could have been better. B. The Scarlet Spider suit is awesome. A. The Secret Wars suit. Now, hmm. Uh, I'm going to give this one a D. Uh, I mean, it, it's cool looking. The sectioning is a little bit weird. The lines are a little bit weird. And um, I think the blue, I mean, it, it's... It's not a very nice suit, in my opinion. I, I wouldn't wear it if I was Spider-Man. And it kind of just... I, say, I think I said this before. It just... It looks like it wanted to be the Miles Morales suit, right? This was this was, this was was added because we didn't get a Miles Morales suit in the game, right? The Spider-Armor Mark III D, and I don't care who says it or who likes it. Um, why is Spider-Man swinging around in a suit of armor? This is good for space stuff, not good for spider man -ing. Uh, the Mark II is also getting an F. Um, hate this suit with a passion. I hate the eyes. I hate the colors. It, it looks terrible in my opinion. The Mark IV Spider Armor is getting a B. I do like the mint eyes and the mint glow around the spider and the metallic look of the classic Spider-Man suit. I think it's good for a spider, spider armor suit, so that's why it's getting a B. This Miguel O'Hara um, Spider-Man 2099 black suit, it's called is getting a C because it is blue. No, 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 no quotes. It is blue, not black. Uh, Spider-Punk suit. Now, this one's great, but, you know, seeing the Hobie Brown in Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse just makes this one look so bad, and it sucks. I love this suit. I'm going to give it a B, though, because I... I'm going to give it an A, right? Because I'm letting my judgment of Hobie's suit... You know, masks mask my actual feelings about this suit. And I love this suit. I, I used to stream on my old YouTube channel. And I would only use this suit because of how much I loved it. The white Spider-Man um, 2099 suit. I'm going to put it with the other one. I'm not a big fan of the white one. I like the black one a lot better. The black one a lot better. Um, But uh, mm, Spirit Spider. Where is this one going? F. This one sucks, and if you like it, you you need to get your brain checked. It is not a good suit. Uh, the Homecoming suit is definitely getting an A. Um, it's just not really iconic for this game, I would say. Uh, it, it's a great suit, in my opinion. I actually just uploaded a TikTok uh, a couple, what is it, a week ago, or less than that, where I talked about my favorite Spider-Man design in live action. So go check out my TikTok, at Alex Hawksense. It's a pretty good TikTok. It's pretty long. I didn't know you can make 10 minute TikToks, but I made one for like seven minutes. I should have made it on the channel, but I just did it on TikTok. I thought it was fine. So go check it out. I pretty much just tell you guys what my favorite Spider-Man, what live action Spider-Man suit is and go through all of them and say what I do and I don't like about them. Uh, the stealth suit is getting an S tier. This is such a great suit. One of my favorite alternate designs of Spider-Man that isn't a classic look. Especially in this game, they make it look so great with the green and the sectioning and the padding. It looks fantastic. The Night Monkey suit's getting a D. <laughs> Undy suit is getting a. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna give that one a C because it's funny. You know, I'll put that one with the bombastic bag man, kind of you know C. The upgraded suit, baby S. I love this suit. Everybody knows it. 
It's a great suit. Velocity suit, I'm going to give it a B for effort. No, I'm actually going to give it a C. Because it's not actually that good. Um, they have Insomniac, Insomniac has had some great hits. And we'll talk about them after I do all these right now. The Vintage Comic Book Suit, I'm going to also give a B. Because they could have gone with a... Um, Steve Ditko design. Or a... Um, John Romita design rather than just making the their cla their version of the classic suit in the cell shaded vintage version, which I hope they do something different next time. If they do a Steve Ditko version from the Amazing Fantasy, I want to see the web wings. Obviously, I want to see the baby blue spider on the back. I want those thin curly eyes. Um, next, Raimi suit or the webbed suit. S, come on, S. This is one of my favorite designs for the wrestling suit because this one comes from the Ultimate Comics. A very, very, very awesome run. One of my favorite runs of Spider-Man. So I'm going to give it a B. Black and gold suit's getting a D. Uh, <laughs> integrated suit. If you watch the video on my TikTok, you'll see how much I hate this suit. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be fair. I'm going to put it in C for this one because I, it's not that bad. I mean... I just hate it because it, it just replaces the black, red and black suit that I love so much. And it adds it with a suit that I think is pretty mid. That being the MCU Iron Spider. Uh, Aaron Eichmann suit's a D for sure. I hate the armor. Shredder is basically a D. I'm calling it Shredder because he has a Shredder type arm. Across the or Into the Spider-Verse, Peter B. Parker is getting a C. I mean, you can tell. Like, look how puffy his chest is for no reason. He looks like he needs a breast reduction or something. It's crazy. Uh, Iron Spider, I'm going to give this one an A. The Resilient Suit, I'm going to give this one a B. Um, great design. I love how it looks etched in. All the details are like etched into the suit rather than it being like um, a nanotech type vibe like this one. Um, the Kane Scarlet Spider Suit is getting an A. Love that one. Spider Armor Mark 1 is getting a D. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Spider Manga is getting an F. And then Spider UK is getting an A. Wow. Quick quick little pod for you guys. Um, But, I mean, let, let's review. Let's review. So, in S, we have the Insomniac created designs. Right? These are all kind of Insomniac created designs right here. Um, except, I mean, obviously. Obviously, they're all taken from the comics and whatnot. But... They have their own twist on them, especially this one right here. We have the upgraded suit, which is my favorite Tom Holland Spider-Man suit. And then we have the Raimi suit, which obviously... You, oh. I love. You know, it's a, it's a great suit. Um, then we have the Midtown... Uh, not Midtown. The Visions Academy suit. We have the Into the Spider-Verse suit. This, is a, this one right here is a... Um, Insomniac created design. This was from a variant cover. This was from the end comic. This is an Insomniac created design. Um, this is Insomniac created. 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 This is Insomniac. Oh, take from the comics. Uh, this is Insomniac created. This is Insomniac created. This is Insomniac created. Um, this one Insomniac created, this one Insomniac, this one Insomniac, this one Insomniac, this one, this, this one, it's no, which others, uh, this one, this one, and that's it, um, yeah, I mean, Insomniac did a fantastic job with all their suits, and the guy I watch, shout out Caboose, you know, he's got me with all the news and stuff like that when I'm too slow on it, um, he put the Arachnite suit and the Shadow Spider suit, in this mix as well. Shadow Spider is definitely getting an A. And Arachnite is going to also be definitely getting an A. They look fantastic. I am a huge fan of them. And I cannot wait to play with those suits in the game as well. So a quick little pod for you guys. I wanted to have a little bit more. But there is just not really everything going on. There's not much going on in the community. I think you guys can agree with me on that. So I thought this was good. A little 20 minute podcast for you guys. Something to nibble on for next week. We'll see what we do next week. Hold on for one second, everybody, because I do have a little bit of surprise at the end of this episode. Today at the San Diego Comic-Con Spider-Man 2 panel, we got the story trailer for Marvel Spider-Man 2, along with some other details I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And I thought, might as well get it out in this video as well, so we don't have to wait till next week so you guys can learn all the information that I learned and listen to my theories the day after. So here we go. This is the Marvel Spider-Man 2 story trailer. 
Lots happened in the last 10 years. So Harry so is going to be a huge part of this game. I'm wearing the same chance. I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay trailer breakdown. I wear the shirt too much. I'm so picky about which shirts I wear, but this one is the advanced suit, so we'll wear that one. All right, let, let's get let's get it started. First, Harry's design looks pretty good. He has a new face model and a new voice actor. Uh, they got rid of the one the, the voice actor and the face model design from the first game, which is fine. I'm gonna take. Uh, I mean, he wasn't a major character in the first game, but this is awesome. The Peter face design. Um, Looks a lot better, in my opinion. It looks a lot more like Peter Parker. This does kind of look like an unfinished product, though, so I'm not going to hold it to them that the hair kind of looks a little bit more feathery and light than, you know, how the, the depth of his skin looks. I mean, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. We're going to heal the world. So if you want my opinion on who is Venom, it's definitely Harry. Because he says, we're going to heal the world, and then Venom says, we're going to heal the world at the end. You'll see. New suits, fantastic. New burrows. This is kind of showing you off Guys, where. This is my best friend Harry. So we have Harry. We have a new MJ design. Hey. We have a new Miles design. Miles has the. What would you call these? Like the twists? I think it looks fantastic. Job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. I like this. I think it looks great. In these that suit looks fantastic. Oh man. I have another name for you. Craven. He's here on some kind of hunt. But so that kind of confirms that the symbiote is um alien. If they found it in the woods like that on like like a crash site. Which I think a lot of us were worried that it was going to be made by Oscorp. So no. So it's Clintar's a real thing. This is going to be interesting. I want to talk about this at the end because a lot of people were talking about why are they bringing him back, Mr. Negative? What's going on here? I'm going to talk about it at the end why I think it's okay. Wraith. This was our dream. So, obviously, a lot of people think that's uh, Peter. I think it's Harry. And obviously, right here, we see the this, this symbiote right behind Norman. And uh, if, I can, if I can get it, the symbiote's like right. See, look, he, why is Harry so much in the trailer? Why does he look so, you know, hurt? Like, the symbiote's right behind them. Harry's showing a lot of frustration and aggressiveness. We're going to kill the world. Does he say kill or heal? Captions on. We're going to kill the world. Heal. It looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. Wow. Guys. And then we did also get the... So, this is kind of a confirmation on how Venom is going to be beatable. Or how you beat Venom. Beatable. So we get the confirmation that we are getting a console exclusively for Spider-Man 2. So we see this really awesome design. I like it. I think they could have done more, but I think it serves its purpose. So don't fear if you have a PS5 console already like myself. 
I don't feel the need to get a new console whatsoever, and we won't we won't have to because they are selling the plates and the DualSense controller separately, not just in this bundle, which I'm very excited for. Um, I already have a Spider-Man themed controller. I, I like it a lot. Um, my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. Um, um, I've been bragging about my girlfriend in this video. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I like the design of it. I think it's cool. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's going to come, I think, in only the disc variety if you want the bundle. Not 100% sure about that. But if you want just the plates, you they do sell them in a digital and the disc edition. Also with a DualSense controller. The prices, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about yet. But uh, if you want to know, I think pre-orders come out next Friday for the console. Yes, no, ooh, September 1st. Oh, they're available September 1st. Okay. So that's not bad. I don't know when pre-orders do come out, but uh, that's cool. If anybody does want the Spider-Man 2 PS5 available September 1st, 2023, and Marvel Spider-Man 2 is coming in the uh, in October 20th, 2023. So I believe in this, in this, you get a redeemable code in which you can just download the game on your, on your PlayStation, but it's still going to have the timer and say, you have to wait till blah, 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 blah. You know, so... um that's awesome guys i mean we got a lot so let's go back to the trailer and kind of break it down i'm gonna turn down the volume here so we don't have to hear everything so i mean i mean right off the bat we do see this new harry design i'm gonna put it in um 0.75 so we can have a little time here so i mean i i like the design i mean this this trailer kind of confirms that harry is going to be venom Harry is in this so much, and they have similar dialogue, and he's going to be Venom. Um, I don't think that it's it's a discussion on who is Venom anymore. I think it is Harry. So we get, obviously, uh, two Spider-Men swinging around. We get Coney Island, which is a playable area. Peter looks great. MJ looks great. Uh, I think that's probably Genki over here in the hat. Miles looks great. I love this hair. I think it's really unique for his character. And th I mean, we did kind of see uh, one of the Digital Lux Edition suits have the, his hair out with the red dye on his hair. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's probably Genki. So, uh, Peter is now a, uh, professor at ESU or assistant professor. I don't know. Maybe, we'll, maybe they have the blog linked below and we could check that out. So even though Craven's in this trailer, uh, they kind of focus on a little bit Venom more and the story of Harry and Venom more. Like this is pretty much all we get of Craven and his goons besides Peter fighting him. That, I think that's a pretty interesting little thing. Is Peter actually being a waiter? <laughs> is he actually a waiter or is he like in disguise peter fighting a robo dog this obviously we talked about kind of confirmation that the uh, the venom symbiote is alien and it's not uh, oscorp created like we already thought miles looks great they look great out of the uh, with their masks off so this is the part that got a lot of people kind of confused and upset about is why are they bringing up back mr negative so if you guys like, maybe you guys have forgotten that this game isn't one one game with two Spider Men. It's basically two stories in two different characters in one game, right? So Peter's gonna have his own story, Miles is gonna have their own story, and together they're gonna have the massive story of Craven and Venom, right? So they're but they're gonna be going on their own side missions. This could be a side mission, you know. This this probably not this may, not, might not be a part of the true main story, you know. This could be a uh, he could be in the raft fighting somebody. Maybe Craven is uh, tagging people in the raft, trying to kill Rhino or whoever, right? And uh, Mr. Let Negative could get out, and Miles is just in there. So it, it can't be like a Miles is hunting down Mr. Negative type thing. I mean, it could be, but I think I think this is great. Mr. Negative killed Miles' dad. Miles is still trying to find himself while fatherless, right? And now he's Spider-Man, so how do you do that, you know, without a father figure? Peter Parker had Uncle Ben for a little bit. So, yeah, he says, you don't know what you took from me. 
This is kind of obviously Wraith. Wraith. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. It might be MJ. Um, that's obviously Peter. But that looks like it's Wraith. She kind of that looks like she has the shorter hair, the mask, the you know female body build. So MJ's redesign looks great. I like it a lot better. Um, I see. We see she's kind of hiding from him. I don't know what this is right here. Oh, it's Craven's goons. Looks like it, but like maybe uh. He broke until he's trying to like confront Craven or something. That's awesome. So we see the lizard again and the sound affecting the symbiote. Craven once more. Looks fantastic. Harry again o over what some rubble is. Like some like f like end of a fight. And he says This was our dream. This was our dream. And it looks like maybe there's fire in the back or something. I mean, Harry walking off being hurt. And that, I mean, it just confirms it. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, man. Is this that? No. Um, let me go and find the... Sorry, my desk is a little bit of a mess. I'm kind of doing this impromptu. Um, here we go. New story trailer. Perfect. All right. Let's see. So, San Diego Comic Con has always been one of the most exciting times for Marvel fans. Blah 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 blah. Um, so there's a story trailer we just watched. Trailer sets up our story in the game while also giving you a first full look at the monstrous Venom in Marvel's New York. Here, here's Marvel's Spider-Man's two senior narrative director John Paquette to offer a deeper look. At the beginning of our story, Spider-Man are at the top of her game, but both Peter and Miles are, Morales are struggling with their personal lives. Miles is trying to find time to write his college entrance essay but he keeps procrastinating and focusing on spider work instead so that kind of leads back to what rio was saying to peter parker now he's trying to help you he's trying to be a better spider-man help him you know so meanwhile peter is underwater on payments of for may's house but he can't sell it it means too much for him and just like that miles peter and just like miles peter tries and fails to balance to find balance with so many responsibilities MJ wants to help Pete with the mortgage, but her job is now on the line that J. J. Jonah Jameson is back at the bugle and looking to clean house. Our heroes have arrived at a confluence of crossroads with uncertain futures and some tough decisions ahead. When Craven's hunters arrive in New York City, it sets off a mystery of why they are there and who and what they are hunting. But as, like, but as the Spider-Man and MJ dig deeper into Craven's, Craven's motivations, the symbiote begins to threaten Marvel's New York and everyone and everything they hold dear. So maybe the symbiote that they're talking about is Peter Parker because of how violent he is being. Uh, as many of you noticed in Marvel Spider-Man 2's gameplay trailer from the PlayStation Showcase in May, Peter's new black suit affected his personality and gave him new, powerful symbiote abilities. You see bits of that in this trailer as well, and you can see Peter's symbiote powers tax his relationship with Miles, MJ, and Harry. That's a great... These are all great. Wow. Spoilers for 2018, Marvel Spider-Man ahead. If you haven't played it, what are you doing? Um, given how much Miles Morales looks up to Peter for my, for mentorship and guidance, this creature, this creates further problems. I'm having a stroke, if you guys can't tell. Uh, beyond trying to figure out what's next for his life, Miles continues to struggle with the death of his father at the hands of Martin Lee, a.k.a. Mr. Negative. As you saw from the trailer, you haven't seen the last of Mr. Negative, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that maybe that kind of wipes out my theory of just how... He's just a minor role in the game. So apparently, I think he's, he's probably going to be a more Miles Morales focused villain in this game. We've always thought of our Spider Heroes as acrobatic improvisers. And in the new and in new Marvel Spider Man 2, we wanted to equip them with new ways to, to do so during combat. This includes Pete's spider arms and symbiote powers, while Miles now brings forms of two bioelectricity venom to every fight. 
And when you start combining these abilities with all new spider gadgets and the web grabber, it could lead to some exciting combos. This trailer also provided some look at our new, at, at our expanded, oh my god, am I having a stroke, at our expanded Marvel's New York. Now you'll be able to swing across from the East River and explore Brooklyn and Queens. Coney Allen makes his debut as well in the trailer, and we can't wait to explore it. For you to explore it. <laughs> and one way you can explore it is with the web wings. We are really excited people to try out the web wings. For us, it was a cool opportunity to bring something people have seen in comics and movies and integrate it in the game. Swinging is core for our, our Spider-Man traversal, so we designed the web wings to work with swinging and complement it. The way you can weave back and forth between the two to build up speed and height. We'll use the web wings are with our web tunnels, though that's one of the ways to go across the city super fast and really push the speed of traversal, which was one of our goals. Thanks to the power the, and speed of the PS5, web wings add another layer to the traversal, tra traversal system and change up how you look at getting around the different parts of the city. So, obviously we get this again. This is the collector's edition. Uh, they showed it at the panel. Our philosophy has always been that, that we want to respect the history of the franchise and the Spider-Man DNA, but also not to be afraid to mix things up. The same holds true for our iconic characters like Venom. When the look of the character and several of his powers and abilities should be familiar to fans, this will be a unique story that, that we are excited to ramp, that we are excited for everyone to experience this October. We decided to create a Venom story we knew would be making a bit of a shift tone, a tone shift. The best symbiote story serves as an allegory. We all have the darkness inside of us, but what would happen if we let it take over? With the introduction of the symbiote into our franchise, our heroes are forced to battle darkness in all its forms. We wanted to see the, we wanted them to see the change both inside and out, and feel the effect it has on those around them. And when Venom takes control, they face the real danger that they could lose themselves, their and their loved ones forever. Venom was brought to life by the sensational actor Tony Todd. We've long admired, admired Tony and we're so grateful to work with him to play Venom. His voice work brings to the life Insomniac's new monstrous design for the character. Our Venom was inspired by the comics, uh, but there have been so many interpretations that it was fun to pick and choose what, the, what fits the game. He has a unique take on the white spider icon and has an anatomy of a human. He also has powerful tendril attacks that can take many forms. It was challenging to find their balance between liquid and solid in Venom's materials as we're going as going too watery makes him look weak and going too solid can quickly turn him into a tentacle monster. Venom must look both powerful and semi-liquid at the same time. So the way she talks about his tendril powers and how he has multiple powerful tendril attacks that can make that can take many forms is like their functions on a controller basically saying venom is playable right reach reach um obviously that hasn't been confirmed or denied yet that's the thing we everybody's talking about it and they have yet to deny it if they wanted to confirm it or deny it they would have done it in the beginning or deny it in the beginning right so obviously there's still some stuff that they're hiding. Uh, we had some other fun news to share from SCCC um, poster um, the console we talked about, and that's pretty much it. So that's all the news we pretty much got. Unless I'm missing something here, let's check Twitter before I end it off for the night. Um, Now, I'm not seeing anything else. I think that's pretty much it. So, I'm excited, obviously. Um, wow, I am very, very excited for this. So, I mean, I don't know what to say, everybody. Like, Venom looks fantastic. Like, look at this. That is, that is exactly what I want to see, you know? That is exactly what we want to see. That is Venom. Wow. Look at that. That's fantastic. That's got to be my new wallpaper. <laughs> that one's great too. Wow. All right. Well, with that being said, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. I appreciate you guys watching it. If you have any questions about Red Hawk Media and maybe want to get involved, you can contact us on Instagram at redhawk.media. DM us, and I will answer any questions that you guys may have for us. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.